Hey, Professor Klein, coming back to you from the Anatomy and Physiology Labs here at Ohio University. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the microscope. So, the first thing you want to consider before you even start and turn on the microscope is the setting on the side. So, you notice there's a light setting that goes from one all the way up to 10. Make sure that's on a seven or below before you turn it on. So that's a seven. Come to the front, turn it on. Make sure this light turns on, which means the light is coming up through what we call the stage. So this is the stage right here with a clip that can pull back. So now we wanna take a microscope slide and you'll take it preferably with two hands slide it in and let it lock in place now when it's secure on the sides you can move this slide forwards and backwards left and right. So you can center it before even looking into the objectives or the eyepieces. So something else you want to do first is always start on the lowest setting. So number four you can twist to where now this is the setting that you are viewing. The other thing to mention on the side here, two different types of focus. The coarse focus, which is this big knob, makes the stage move up and down a lot. But once you've got it in a pretty good position, the smaller knob, it will do the same thing, but it's the fine focus, so it does it on a much smaller scale. Another cool thing is that you can actually angle your phone to see what's in the slide. It's kind of difficult, but once you get it, you can take a picture. So that's the pancreas right there, focused on four. You would then want to move it to the next one, 10. Same thing, focus it in, see it from 10, then move it to 40. Some microscopes are designed a little differently, but they still have the knobs, objectives, focuses, but the on switch is all the way in the back.